Morning, it's Graham from Unearthed, and I was out detecting yesterday, and I managed to winkle out this lovely short cross penny. I'm not sure which king it is yet. I've not had a chance to identify it. But as you can see by the shape, she is slightly bent, quite a bit bent anyway. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. So what I'm going to do today is show you guys how I straighten my hammered. Now, this method might not suit everybody, and it certainly... Uh, I know some people that would just leave that straight, but I'm going to straighten it as I've straightened hundreds of hammered coins over the years. Uh, it's, a, it's a process that works for me. Um, but like I said, it might not suit everybody. So let's go on and take a look at the process of how I straighten my hammered coins. So folks, the pan is on the stove. Make sure you do this when your missus isn't around because they're... Uh, you could sometimes use the best, her best pans. I'm going to, that's better. You can see the coin in there. And I'm gently warming the water up until it comes to the boil. So that's the first part of the process. Actually in water, it doesn't zoom in very well. There she is. You can see that. Okay, let's have a look at the next process. As you can see, folks, the water is coming to the boil. You've got to be careful with these coins because they are they can be quite brittle. So I would probably do this with Saxon type coins, Saxon pennies, where the silver is uh, is liable to crack. But we'll be okay with this. So you can see the coin in there; it's coming to the boil very soon. I will be fishing this out and taking it to the next process. So, folks, the coin has now been taken out of the hot water, and we are going over to the two books I've got ready to put this coin in between so I'll catch you guys in a quick second it's Graham again folks and I've got the coin gently underneath these two books as you can see the coin is red hot because it's just come out of the boiling water and I gently press down just ever so gently I can actually feel a little bit of almost a little bit of bounce there I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it at all and I repeat this process three or four times, just gently doing that. So let's have a look in a second at the coin. So the coin is under there. I've repeated this process from the water back to the books twice. Each time I put a little bit more pressure on. So let's just see how we're getting on. And there she is. There's the coin. And as you can see, she's almost flat. So it works an absolute treat. It's a lovely short cross, actually. That's you know, I'm a great believer of if you can restore these coins back into their former glory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat the process again one more time, just to straighten it out a little bit more, and then that's the job done. So let's go and see the finished article. So there she is, folks. The last time. That very last time I put a little bit more pressure on and that's as good as I'm going to get it. It's almost flat. The coin is almost flat and it's a lovely short cross, isn't it? Brought back to its former glory. Now, the rule of thumb here is don't overheat the coin too much. Don't put too much pressure on. You've got to be careful with these little medieval pennies because they are brittle. But isn't that such a wonderful little coin? Far better looking at it flat than it is bent you can see so that's how I do my hammered coins I hope that helps I hope that's been of, of use um, we may do one on cleaning silver Roman coins with tarnish on in the near future so watch this space but um, I'm happy with that result and I'm sure you guys agree okay thank you very much for watching